Hello everyone, this is Yolanda and I'm going to give you an update about um, what I've been working on. This is a little hat here, a beanie, that I just made with the loom, the loom knitting. I'm not going to do a tutorial because there's so many of them on um, YouTube on how to do it. And so I didn't know if that was really necessary. Um, this one I did with the quick and easy, that chunky wool. And what I really like about it, this is like... Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but it shimmers. It's got like three different shades in there. It's really pretty. And then this is a square that I did a tutorial last week on the Adrian Square. And I just made a bunch of them and I joined them together. I haven't finished finished it yet. I still have to tie, uh, tie in the, put in the ties. And so I just attached them to make a scarf for my sister. So then it's really nice for spring because it's not really heavy. And then um, you could either wrap it around your neck this way, so it's just kind of lazy and open, or else I put in um, this little attachment here, like a little bow, so then you could stick your scarf in through there, and then it holds it in place. So let me see if you could see that. See, so I just did this little attachment there and then it holds it in place that way so you could some people like to wear it that way so that's what i did with that scarf i haven't finished it yet and then um of course this tutorial it should be it's already on my page on the dishcloth for the shells and post um this is another tutorial i haven't finished it yet but these are called drunk clusters and you can see how they go up and down so i'm doing that and then, um, of course, always the different beanies, um, making a bunch of these little beanies for um, the CAPS program here in San Diego. It's a college area pregnancy services, and they give full health care services to pregnant women. And so they always, uh, and they also counsel women who have unplanned uh, pregnancies. So I just always make a bunch of those. I've been making some little bows, hair bows for my granddaughter with the beret in the back. So I've made uh, a bunch of different color ones. And then this one, I put the little Burnett pom pumps so you could see there. And then I did <laughs> this little fraggle rock, <laughs> little fraggle inspired beanie. It's my square beanie that's on my, uh, my channel, on my page, but then I did four pom-poms across, so it looks like, I don't know if you guys used to watch Fraggle Rock with the Muppets, but they had the little animals, and it's, it's just kind of cute. Something different for the kids there. Um, I just finished working out this little uh, motive, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a tutorial on that yet. I haven't decided. I may or I may not. I don't know if you guys want to actually even see that. And then... My fun project this week is finishing my the little sock monkey, a uh, little girl sock monkey in pink. The pattern for this monkey is on um, the Art of Crochet, Teresa Richardson's channel. She has the tutorial for the monkey, and it's so cute. She's got tons of neat stuff in there. So you, I would, if I were you, I would check that out. Um, the dress, I made it up myself. Um, so basically, it's just a little skirt with a pin pinful um, and it's just um, shells and in the bottom I did some um, Solomon's knot underneath I uh, actually crocheted onto her body so it doesn't come off and then underneath I made some bloomers for her with also the Solomon's knot and then of course the opening for her tail to come out uh, the head, then I put this little flower, which is on, that tutorial is on my page. It's one of my more popular ones. So this is what I have done. And so um, that's what I've been up to this week. I also had a lot of other things really busy because um, I'm working in a chaotic atmosphere right now because um, I'm having my office, home office redone. So I just got it painted this really beautiful blue color. And then the cabinet, the file cabinet and my furniture, I'm having them painted white. 
Um, Everything and then is that way in the black. These are my grandkids. <laughs> in the black frame with the white mat, black and white photos and some color ones. And then my whiteboard is also going to have that same thing. Oops. Um, gosh, it reflects the light from outside. So, um, and then it's going to be that color. Then, of course, I have this, my beautiful lamp here. It's going to look really nice there. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I've been working on. I got that idea. I was inspired by a photo on Pinterest. So, anyway, that's what I've been up to. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.